Watch this and more only on Yippee.tv. The Pharaoh is trying to sleep! The incompetent one! I shall teach this disturber of the peace a lesson! Uh, careful, Jacobs! That crate contains many rarities, including the Scroll of Thoth! Thoth, huh? I like Thoth on my spaghetti! <laughs> Just kidding, I know Thoth is a dude. Walter, Thoth isn't a dude. He's the ancient Egyptian god of wisdom and learning. Dude. Not only is he noisy, his abject ignorance irks me. He must be punished. Aha! Uh. Wait to study its ancient spells of knowledge. I got it all under control, Professor Dude. No! Jacobs! Shut it off! No problem. I'm cool, man. Not for long. Oh, Scepter of Wise, may your power spread. Propel the fork chariot to move ahead. <laughs> Jacobs, you're fired! <sighs> I don't, it wasn't my fault, man. That forklift is like possessed or something, man. No more of your lame excuses, man. Pack up your video games and whatnot and, and get out! Oh, Horace, leave him alone. You had no business making him drive that forklift. He could sue you. Sue? <laughs> well, let's not be hasty here. Did I say fire? I meant probation. Probation? Is that good? It means you have your job again. And you can start by reorganizing the paper clips in the storeroom. The big ones and the little ones? Oh, man, harsh. Okay, I'm on it, man. Anything to do with this? Oh, I'm gonna turn him into mummified mush! Hmm, what an appetizing thought. Ted, did you get Walter into trouble? Ah, I was just having fun with the guy. There's nothing fun about ruining Walter's life. Ah, uh, he'll get over it. Well, you'd better knock it off, or I know one moldy boy king who's gonna be shopping for a new friend. Professor's right, this is way too complicated. I can't handle it. He's gonna fire me for sure, man. Luxor, maybe I should not have played that trick on Walter. Well, duh! I mean, no, sire, you, you could never be wrong. I know it's extremely rare, but sadly, I was. I didn't mean to crush his confidence. But as the one who likes to keep his subjects happy, I will fix everything. I will make the slow one smarter. Then he'll impress that grouchy Badetti man, and all will be well. I have a better idea, sire. Maybe we can help Walter with his paperclip assignment, like helpful paperclip elves. No, 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 no. When the Pharaoh sets out to do something, he does something big. Scroll of Thoth, I can grant Walter unlimited knowledge. But, sire, will Walter's, um, 
limited brain be able to handle it? We shall soon find out. For $1,000, how many inches are in a foot? Ooh, ooh, trick question. Inches aren't in a foot. Toes are in a foot, dude. <laughs> Twelve. Oh, correct. Oh, so hard, man. Egg-headed freak lady. By the power of thought, let wisdom flow. Let knowledge come forth. Let it build. Let it grow. For $2,000, how many protons and neutrons does the common isotope uranium-238 have? Oh, I have no idea. 92 protons and 146 neutrons. The correct answer is 92 protons and 146 neutrons. That was an easy one, bro. When was the first commercially packaged toilet paper introduced in America? 1857, dude. <laughs> Sire, this is amazing. Yes, I have done a wonderful thing. Am I not the most wonderful of all kings ever? You sure am, sire. Uh, uh, that you are, oh glorious one. My exhaustive research has revealed that Thoth was associated with the ibis and the crocodile. Actually, bro, Thoth's sacred animals were the ibis and the baboon, also known as Papiosinocephalus. <laughs> what? Legend says that Thoth, the ancient Egyptian god of wisdom and learning, gave the Egyptians the knowledge of how to write with picture symbols. You know, hieroglyphs. Cool, huh, bro? Walter? <laughs> He's joking, folks. No, I'm not. <laughs> Walter, why aren't you doing your job? Get back to your rounds. Come along, people. People. Uh, Walter, have you been studying at night? <laughs> no, I always sleep on the job, you know that. Yes, but yesterday you were so stupid. I mean, you were an imbec... Uh, an ignorim. Hmm. Your mental gas tank was on empty. My memories before today are fuzzy. It's like a dark curtain has been lifted from my consciousness and stuff. <laughs> oh, I suppose that my genius has finally rubbed off on the boy. <sighs> no, it's more than that. A lot more. It's almost like someone waved a magic wand over him. Gee, I wonder who... Tut! Did you use magic to make Walter smarter? No. No. Oh, that's a relief. I use the scroll of thought. What? Now Walter will never feel bad about being stupid, and the professor will like him better. Isn't that a good thing? I guess so, but... It's just so weird to see you do something so unselfish. Ah, the Pharaoh is always ready to help his people. But somehow, it never quite works out as planned. The Vikings first appeared in the late 8th century when they ravaged the coast of Northern Europe, dude. <laughs> okay, they used an alphabet known as Futhark or runes. Stones decorated with runic inscriptions have been found in Scandinavia, man. <laughs> You see, Cleo? Walter is fine. The Pharaoh is right. As usual, nothing to worry about. You finally did something good for someone else, Tut. Maybe there's hope for you after all. Oh, Mr. Smarty Pants. He may have memorized a few facts, but I'm the only true genius around here. So, this mortal has stolen the secrets of knowledge from my scroll. That is forbidden. I shall keep a watchful eye on this transgressor. Don't let all this go to your head, Jacobs. I was only trying to help. Ah, Walter. Thanks again for translating the text of the ancient lamentation of Ipuwer for me. Sure. Maybe tomorrow I can proofread your paper on King Akhenaten. I hate to interrupt your little party, but Jacobs, don't you have rounds to make? I just built this last night out of spare lunchbox parts. <laughs> this is so tough. Whatever's happened to Walter, I hope it never stops. It's fabulous. Hmm. 
Hey, what's up, buddy? <laughs> doesn't look afraid of this place anymore. Perhaps he's too smart to worry about things that go bump in the night. So he might actually do his job. Good. And find Tut! Bad. We've got to warn Tut! Oh, where is that Luxor? He should have brought me my cookie by now. You have to leave, bro. Hey, come on, man. Don't make me come and get you. The statistical probability of getting caught in a chase by a security guard like me is way against you. Hey, stop! Walter! Uh, is everything okay? I thought I saw somebody come in here. Maybe it was a rat, though. Yeah, a big rat. A huge rat. Well, I guess it's gone. Everything's cool. Are uh, you okay? Uh, oh, I just left something and uh, I'll be out of here in a sec. Oh, okay. Just uh, check with me on your way out. I don't want to lock you in. Sire, we're going to have to be more careful from now on. Walter seems to be effectively doing his job. Okay, now we need to get him fired. No, you need to chill. No walking around, no talking in your sleep, and no cookies. No cookies? That is treason. Uh, we can talk about this tomorrow. We gotta go before Walter comes back. You stay put. Oh, I cursed the day I gave Walter a brain. Good night, Walter. Ciao. Hey, watch out for the subtropical depression rotating out from the Azores. What? Uh, that's like a storm that's on its way, man. I prefer the old Walter, the one I can understand. I've had enough of this forbidden use of knowledge. Hedgeware, Maka! Hedgeware here! Hedgeware here! <laughs> this transgressor must be dealt with. Bring him back here for his punishment. <laughs> bad boy! Bad boy! <laughs> Hedgeware smell pretty! Hedgeware smell pretty! <laughs> Hedgeware smell One. Oh no. Re 
green glowy eyes. What does Tut want now? Alright guys, let's be reasonable here. Options are a bit limited. I could stay here and be torn to little pieces, or I could seek shelter. <laughs> yep, shelter sounds good. Send Hedgeware! <laughs> Evildoer, steal knowledge! Get Evildoer! Bring to Voth! <gasps> Bad boy gone! Baboons in a highly advanced stage of evolution need hair sample for chemical analysis. Me surprise, bad boy! Me surprise, bad boy! <laughs> But the obvious is frightening. <sighs> Fascinating. Is this a parallel universe? A new dimension? A dreamscape? The legendary Hall of Two Truths. This is the ancient Egyptian underworld, dude. And if I'm really here, that means I might actually come across... I have been waiting for you. Mortal, you have stolen my secrets of knowledge. The scroll is intended for me alone, not for others to use for their own selfish purposes. You are hereby banished to the pits of the underworld. Oh, great Thoth, please let Walter go. Pharaoh, you dare stand in my way? The transgressor must be punished. Tudok and Santa Moon is alive? I knew it, man, and they said I was crazy. Oh, God of wisdom and knowledge, Walter isn't guilty. I am the one who used your scroll to make him smarter. I only did it to help him. To help? You stole my forbidden secrets? I know, I was wrong. I humbly apologize for what I have done. It is unacceptable to use magic, especially forbidden magic, to change people's lives. I should banish you for eternity. <laughs> Spare the innocent one. He has done nothing wrong. Hmm. Well, by attempting to save your friend and confessing your guilt, you've tried your best to make amends for your irresponsible actions. I'll reverse my judgment and the spell over your friend. Oh, oh dude. My head's lighter, man. I... I... Hey, bro! Ah! Ah! <sighs> Pharaoh, you are free to go on one condition. Never use the scroll of Thoth again. Oh, absolutely. Pharaoh's honor. Cross my heart, scarab, and hope to die. Uh, uh, again. <sighs> Wake <gasps> up! You're supposed to be leading a tour! Uh huh? I am? And so, like, the T Rex dude is big, and his hip bone is connected to this, uh, the other big bony thing, you know? <laughs> and then the leg bone is connected to the, uh, the, the chicken bone. Oh, uh, and junk. <laughs> trying to fix the big dino professor, man. I, it was kind of crooked, you know? All I did was pull one bone and... Please don't fire me! Ah, oh, yes, there's the Jacobs I love, uh, like, uh, tolerate. Really? Huh, <laughs> cool, bro. Every 
everything's normal again. Yes, the slow one is slow again. But that other one, the arrogant one, oh, if only there were a spell that could make him less pompous, less... If there is such a spell, let's use it on you. Oh, you young lady, 